the mighty hand of God when it rests upon the wicked it is not a good news for them it will wreak havoc in the midst of them are we together now now please sit down sit down let me just connect to something and then we'll pray when jesus walked upon the earth the bible tells us that he came as the manifestation of all that god is all that god was and all that god is i want to listen carefully there are about 37 recorded miracles in the gospels about 37 distinct recorded miracles there are many other miracles that were not recorded according to john chapter 20 30 and 31 the bible says many other miracles did jesus in the presence of the disciples which are not recorded in this book next verse but these are written it says that ye might believe that jesus christ is the son of god and that in believing you might have life through his name so we know that there are many more miracles it's only when we get to heaven we'll know what else jesus did but there are about 37 recorded miracles and all of these miracles attest to the fact listen carefully all of these miracles attest to the fact that god is a god of power are we together now i've spoken about the hand of god i want to translate that revelation to the power of god and somebody is going to be blessed now i showed you through especially through the lens of the old testament that every time you saw the manifestation of the hand of god it was for all of these things but classically speaking if you do not understand the ministry of power because the hand of god is a representation of his power and if you do not know to the believer today there are four principal assignments of power and if you do not understand this you may waste your experience of the hand of god i'm saying this so that when the hand of god comes upon you you know today with intelligence that this is why it has come hallelujah i've given you a general orientation as to what the bible has to say about the power of god i have studied the subject of god's power by the privilege of god's grace i've had the honor of seeing his power in my life seeing his power in the lives of people and so i know a bit about what the power of god can do and the dynamics of his power i'm going to tell you a few things that will prepare your heart number one god does not have authority god only has power <laughs> authority the nature of authority is that somebody higher than you must confide it upon you are we together now there is nobody who has authority who does not have someone above him you have to be under authority to be able to have access to authority are we together number two all authority is jurisdictional the moment you give people authority you have to define the limits of their operation there cannot be authority without jurisdiction so the president of nigeria has authority because theoretically speaking democracy confers authority upon him within the federal republic of nigeria are we together immediately he moves outside of the federal republic of nigeria he may be a distinguished citizen a respected elder statesman but not a president are we together any and all immunity that comes with that office it will usually cease to operate outside of that jurisdiction so when you say god has authority what you mean is someone has limited the operation of his power jesus only spoke about authority when he as god became a man are we together now then he says all authority and power because men do not have absolute power let's leave that for tomorrow men do not have absolute power our power is defined and it is limited that is why it can increase and it can decrease 
are we together now yes the bible says i have spoken once and twice have you heard that power belongeth to the lord the earth is the lord everything that has to do with power god does not only have all power he is the exclusive owner of all power it's not him and someone else it's not him and satan it's not him and kings it belongs to him it is his property are we together now yes god only gives and confers authority he himself i, I would think i was preaching it was in portacot or so and i said some of these things sometimes i'm afraid to share some of these things believers need to know but my fear is that sometimes believers don't stay to understand they just get it as a revelation and then jump around and confuse themselves and others but if you really understand what i'm telling you there is profound power your faith will skyrocket when you know this there are certain things that is not is not god is not limited by them for instance god does not obey no obedience demands that you must take instructions from someone god was willing to submit himself if he found someone higher than him but having nobody the bible says he swore by himself is that in your bible yes so the concept of obedience is for men are we together now yes there is nobody for him to obey it's not that he's a rebel if he found someone greater than him he will gladly obey but the trouble is that there is no one he's the only one in his class do you know what that means that means it does not matter who talks to you when god speaks the reason why his word is final is not because he's the greatest it's because he's the only are we together i can tell i i don't want to bore you with judicial systems but in in the judiciary there is what we call jurisdiction a customary court or a high court can pass a verdict and the person can be dissatisfied with that verdict are we together and move to a higher court the highest being the supreme court am i right on that and when the supreme court makes a declaration whether you agree or not within the context of where you live it is over am i right on that so when god speaks that's why sometimes you think he's delaying he's allowing every other thing to speak because it doesn't matter how long and what they have said hmm. hezekiah received a prophecy by a genuine prophet is that in your bible high court came by the spirit and said listen god told me to tell you you will not recover hezekiah said i respect your office you go and he turned his face to the wall he said i have to appeal this case oh god remember remember it's in your bible as soon as he spoke god instructed the same man he said return back and tell him i not me and you now i have decided as the supreme ruler of the universe to add your days let me speak to someone i don't care who has said what i don't care how long it has been said I come in the name of the highest, the greatest, and the only. And I decree and declare at this Oasis conference, every speaking that is not of God is cancelled now. 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 